Hey everyone. In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you not only how to remove your white stone glass, but how to install a new one. This is actually my first time removing the glass, but I've had installed it before. So I do have some pointers. Let's check out the glass. I've had it on for about eight months, almost nine months, maybe a year. Not sure actually. Fell a lot of times, especially the home screen area when I had to keep swiping up, kept like poking my thumb. And somehow the left side was flawless. That was strange. To remove the glass, for this method I used a Metro card. I was basically trying to figure out how I can keep it as one piece. So I'm just basically looking for a weak point. And didn't really find one. So I figured, you know what, let me just start at the cuts and the cracks. Lucky enough, I have made entry. That's perfect. You just work the card in, work it right around the corner. And uh, since this was my first time removing the glass, I was kind of worried glass was going to fly off everywhere. And it basically held together very nicely. There was like some sprinkle of dust here and there, you see. So I was like, hey, maybe I can take the left side out. But as I ran the car through, it just cracked exactly like how the right side cracked. I sped this part up just to spare you your time. I'm sure you don't need to see the whole process. Well, you're going to see the whole process, but you don't need to see it in real time. And there it is. There it is. And surprisingly enough, there was not much residue. I mean, literally, you can almost just blow off what was on the on the screen. I used a rag to pretty much wipe it down, dust it off. Um, the only thing I would have did differently here is I would have used basically maybe a wet napkin, cleaned it the first time, and then I would have used this rag to like polish it down. Just so you don't get any glass or tempered glass particles inside the rag. So at this point we can start opening up the box and removing everything that's inside and the white box you can just put over to the side you can open up the case what I did was I just blew on it to like kind of dust it off a little we're gonna start with the smallest little package that they have that has a little bundle of microfiber wipes dust stickers and basically like uh screen wipes what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna start preparing the phone You're going to end up cleaning it about four to five times. So it doesn't have to be too perfect at this point. You just want to clean it nicely, but it doesn't have to be entirely perfect. You're going to wipe it down so many times. So you'll see what I'm saying. The wipe did have some lint on it, so just make sure you catch the corners and get the lint off. And then here's the microfiber cloth. Just polish it down, dry it off.
what we're going to be using next is the dust stickers. Basically, you can hold the corner of it and just touch it everywhere. Just one little touch. Make sure nothing's uh, attached to your screen. Once again, I sped this up for you guys. I'm sure you get the idea of what to do. And we're going to be doing this a lot, so get used to it. Now what this here is, is going to seal your phone. You're going to want to cover your, basically your charging port, your auxiliary port, also your volume rockers and your speaker. However, I didn't do all that. I just felt like when I did it the first time, it was a pretty smooth process. So all I did here was just cover the charging port and the speaker. If you don't trust my method too much, you can absolutely use the rest of the stickers. There's three more and you can cover the entire phone. Let's place it in the casing. Yeah, we definitely wanna make sure that's right side up. Best way to tell is, is this speaker on the top right of the case and also the purple tubes that are inside. Make sure the purple uh, cap is on top. Once again, wipe it down, use the dust sticker, and this time I'm placing the earpiece sticker cover. What that's gonna do is gonna protect your ear speaker. Once you remove the tubes, you can just place the second part of the case on top. It should fit without any issues. They're also going to give you these absorbing sticks. You're going to just slide them in and they're going to absorb any runoff of the glue. Yet again, another wipe down and another stick down, a dust stick down. Feel free to do this as many times as you guys want. I mean, I did it, like I said, four to five times. You can do it one final time at the end instead of so many times. But now we're going to be grabbing the clip. Don't put it on the bottom. It's going to go right up top through. This little clip is going to be holding the glass, your tempered glass up. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. Grab this little piece and you're going to be placing it right above the middle. If you have a hard time finding the hole, I, I did a little bit. Place it right above the middle. It should fit in without any issue, left and right side. Now we're going to be grabbing the tube. The tube has two caps, two openings. Make sure you only open the purple side first. Once it's open, don't be afraid to flip it upside down and put it right into the middle of that little piece that we just put into the case. Put it in and you're going to twist it in clockwise. It might feel a little tough. Um, don't be afraid to be a little rough with it. Once it's in and secure, you'll know it'll have a good feeling to it. Now we're going to prepare to 
release the glue right onto the phone, directly onto the phone screen. You're gonna release the black cap up top. As soon as you pull it out, just wait until the entire glue empties. Should take about 45 seconds to a minute. I sped it up just for the sake of time again. And then every time I try to go back and take it out, you can see there's still a little bit left. So I wanted to make sure I got every little drop. If you look closely, you see there's a little bit and boom, there it is, it just dropped. At this point, I should have shook it just a little bit because there was one final drop. As you can see, I'm gonna get, boom, dismissed. But that's fine. Now you can grab your tempered glass and remove it from the styrofoam case that it's in. At this point, you're just gonna pull on the tab and remove the front film completely off the glass. And try your absolute best not to touch any other part of the glass, just the sides. When you go to place the glass, make sure you place the bottom side of the glass first. And you will lay the top of the glass on that clip that you placed on the top. Everything should fit perfectly. Don't feel too much pressure. And it's gonna lay just right on top of that clip. Right now, I'm just checking out the absorption tabs on the left and right. And now there's a weight that you're gonna use. Make sure the hinge looking piece is at the bottom. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help distribute the glass perfectly on your phone so that the glue spreads evenly. So at this point, you're gonna click on the bottom and wait for the glue to drop slowly. As the glue drops, you're gonna put the phone back down Release and then just pull the tab. And as you can see, the glue is gonna spread throughout the phone evenly. I sped it up so that you can see how it actually spreads perfectly evenly and all the way through. Once it reaches the end, it does take a little bit longer, but it will fill in. As it completes, you can get the UV light ready. What I decided to do is just clean up the area for you guys so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. On the UV light, there's uh, two options, one for 15 seconds and one for 60 seconds. Press once for 15 seconds and press twice for 60 seconds. And it uses a USB power cable, so just plug it in anywhere. I have an Omni charge that works perfectly. Press once for 15 seconds on the top of your phone. Obviously I sped it up. Press once again on the bottom of your phone for 15 seconds. And at this point you can remove it from the case and you can wipe it down one time. Don't press too hard. And now you can use it for the final time, pressing the button twice for 60 seconds on the top of the phone. And the final step is going to be pushing the button twice at the bottom of the phone.
and that's it you are all set with your fresh white stone dome tempered glass clean ready to protect holding your phone down flawless Thank you guys.